and welcome back to PowerPoint. This is gonna be our last session, so we're gonna tie some loose ends. Last time, we worked with the presentation to dress it up and make it look good, right? We chose a uh, theme and we actually added transitions, okay? Well, today we're gonna, uh, oh, and one other thing that we did is that we did, we did print the presentation, but we did it really quick, so we're gonna review our printing and uh, we are gonna re uh, review how to actually save our presentation properly, okay? So let's get to this presentation. Now this presentation is a new one that I created and it has a presentation title. I mean, I have no imagination, but this particular format has the titles in the bottom and I think that's kind of cool. That's the one that you actually see when we're presenting here uh, during the class, you know, something with the titles at the bottom. So there is some little information and so on, okay? So as I said, the first thing that we're gonna review is how to save. So you can save if you go up here and you have this little uh, floppy disk that will help you save. So if you click in there and it's the first time that you're saving, then it is going to ask you for a name. Another thing that you can do to save is that you do control S, okay? And last but not least, you can go into file and then in here click save, okay? So if you click save, then you can decide where in the computer you wanna save and how you wanna call it. So for example, I will say that I want to put it in my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to click in there and I'm going to give it a name. So let's get closer so that you can see how I actually give this a name. So in here, it's going to be a PowerPoint presentation and I can call it my first presentation. Okay, so I, I, I do it and now I need just to click enter and that will do. But let me show you how it looks from outside. Okay, so I am just going to click save in here and we are good to go. So the presentation has been saved and you will know that it has been saved because here at the very top, you're gonna be able to see that your title is, it has a, actually a title. It says my first presentation instead of presentation one, like it said before, okay? So now my presentation has been saved and I need to make some printing. Printing can be done with different purposes, okay? One of the purposes that you may have is that you may wanna give notes to you, the people that are listening to your presentation. As I mentioned last time, there is many different ways of printing. You can print for your audience, you can print for yourself, you can print for your boss, you can print for your records. There is many different ways of doing things. Now, if you have, for example, audience that have, a, you know, not so good, uh, uh, you know, like a view that they have a hard time and they need to wear glasses, then you may want to have larger slides. Maybe you want to just cram all the slides or maybe you want to add notes, okay? So what we're going to do now is that we're going to look at different ways of printing, okay? So we're going to first try to print using, uh, giving you the standard handout that it's my, pre my favorite to give to our audiences. Let's go back in there. So again, I'm gonna go into file and I am going to look into print. And here it is. And when we have print, this is what we're gonna look at, okay? So if I just click here in print, the settings that I have in here are the ones that are gonna be taking place. But I wanna be more picky about it because whatever is in there, I don't even know what is in there. So let's take a look at what is in there, okay? It's sending me to a particular printer that is right here in the media center, okay? And it's telling me that it's gonna print the entire presentation, it's gonna print all the slides. And look at this, it's gonna print full page slides. So that's gonna be, if I have 100 slides, it's gonna be 100 pages and it's gonna be huge and it's gonna use a lot of ink. And if it's color, ooh, forget it, right? It's a lot of money on that one. Now, you can decide to print one-sided or double-sided. You can decide to collate, you know, or grayscale. Okay, so let's go over each one of these things. If I wanna print all the slides, I could pick that, or I could say, just print the current slide, or print a range. In here, I could specify from which number to which number of slide I wanted to do. And if you had any hidden slides, remember the hidden slides, you could decide if you wanna print them or not. Okay, so that is with that. So I'm gonna print all the slides. 
In here is where you put the range if you want, you know, a particular range. Now let's say I wanted to print, for example, from two to three. I have to specify from two to three and that will print slide two and slide three. If I only wanted to print one, then I will say current slide. Okay, so whatever numbers I specify, those slides will be added in the printing. Usually we print one-sided unless you have a really fancy uh, printer, so I will leave that alone. The collated, you know, I'm going to leave it alone. We usually print one presentation at a time, and by definition it collates properly. But here, let's go in this part where we decide if we want to use color or not. Okay, so this one will print grayscale, but you could choose color, but keep in mind that will take a lot of ink, you know, color ink, and it can get expensive. You can do grayscale, or you can do pure black and white. I'm going to show you how this one looks like, and when you have it in here, you can see in the side how that will look like. Okay, so it's showing here, and here at the bottom you have some arrows that will help you go and check out all the slides and see how they would look like. Okay? Now this is full slides, but instead of doing that, I don't want to print the full slides. I would actually like to just print, um, I would like to print notes. Those are the mo most common ones. So I could do notes pages. Okay, let's try that so that you can see how it looks. The two slides, three slides. This is my favorite, the three slides, the handouts. Now if you do that now, you can actually go back and check how it looks now, and you see what you're going to be getting, right? So if you are in pure black and white and you're doing three slides per page, this is the way that it's going to look. And you can scroll in here and see the whole presentation, the way that it's going to be printed. And then you can decide the number of copies that you want to make. Okay, that will be if that's what you wanted to do. Now, instead of uh, doing a handout, what if I want to do, actually, I want to do my notes. So I will go in here and select a different thing that I want to print, okay? I can say that I print my notes page, or I can even print the outline. Remember the outline that we used when we first began preparing this presentation? I could do that, which will help me know exactly what's going on and what's the next slide, or I could do notes pages. In this case, it's going to look funny if I show you the notes pages because we don't have any notes. At least I didn't put in this one, but let's show you the outline, okay? So if I have the outline, this is the way it's going to look. And if you recognize that, that's sort of the way that the outline in itself looked, you know, in that left side of it. But I am going to cancel it. I'm just going to go back because we're not going to be printing right now. You have to be very aware <coughs> of the printing part, okay? Because if you just hit the print button, you're going to get like huge slides. And believe me, when I was a novice in PowerPoint, I did that a few times and the slides will come out super big and I will use a lot of ink. Be sure to manage your cartridge, your print cartridge. In this case, the presentation that I created for you has a blue background. If I am not aware of that, I'm going to print all that and imagine like blue background with a huge, you know, in the whole page, it's going to take a lot of your blue ink and you're going to run out of it before you know it. Okay, so be careful with that. So now that we know how to print and we know all those things, now we are going to work on adding a table within our PowerPoint presentation. So let's go back to our presentation. So in this case, I have, for example, here, slide one has nothing. It just has a title that says slide one, okay? So if I want to insert a table, I can go in here and click on insert, and to the left, I have a table. Okay, now let's take a look, a close-up on how this looks like. If I click on the table, I click down and it shows me the, you know, the table and I can pick how big the table I want it to be. So I'm going to pick just randomly this, okay? And now we have the table. Okay, when uh, I don't have anything but the table in here, the table is going to take center stage. Okay, notice that there are several things that I can do with my table. My table looks like it has some headers and it looks banded, which is easy for people to see which uh, column and which row is which, okay? But I could take away the header row by clicking in here at the very top and you see, it disappeared. Or I may say that I don't want it to be banded, you see? So I just, 
And I could change the color because I say that pink is better. And if I band it again, so it's going to be kind of according to whatever color is that you're picking. Okay? Then you can enter your information in here. Now, you can grab your table and you should be able to move it around, center it, and uh, that will be okay. Now, in this case that I'm showing you, we have the table and it is by itself. So, you know, it takes center stage, it can be a huge table. But what if I wanted to have a table that was along with some other, you know, words, some other information, okay? So let's go back into the PowerPoint presentation and let's look at one of the slides that has some information and let's add a table into it. Let's go back. So for that then, I'm gonna pick this table, you know, I mean this one that has some information, you know, some information and more information, and I'm gonna ba go back in here and say insert a table, and I'm gonna pick how I want it. And again, you know, there's no big deal, I can just grab my, grab my table and put it wherever I want. Surely you want it centered, so we can, you can make it, you can shrink it. You see, you can realign, you can make some columns wider than others and so on. It just depends on whatever it is that you want to do. Now, last but not least, let's add some fun to these tables, okay? Aside from adding tables, you can always add, you know, um, images, clip art, but that will be just as simple as adding the table. What I want to show you now how to do, the last thing that we're going to do, is that I'm going to show you how to actually animate the table going in. Okay, we have done already animation of transitions, but now let's try to animate that table. So we have this table and I'm gonna click on it, okay? And I am going to go into the top, into the ribbon and look for animations. And I find it right in here, okay? So my animations are gonna be applied to the table because the table is the part that I have selected. So I can decide to make it appear, fade, fly in. I like the fly in and that will fly in from the bottom. But again, we also have, you know, other options that we can select. We can say, oh, how about you add, uh, you come in from the left, this one. I like that one. See, and then it just stops right in there. So you can figure out here how you want your animations to work. And most of them, and let me get closer, most of your animations, you know, by definition, they will be on click. So they will start whenever the user clicks, okay? AKA you, when you're giving your presentation. So if you want, you, I mean, at this point and in this class, if you know how to get your animations to work on click, that will be fantastic and that's sort of what you should be by now, okay? So with this then, if we run our presentation, allow me to run it so that you can see it, I'm gonna go into the show and I'm gonna start, and here is my slide three, and when I click, there you go. So I clicked, and I, I got my information, then I click again, I get to slide four, I click again, and I go to slide five, and so on, okay? And remember, oh, you wanna go back, click your arrow back, you wanna go back into the front, you click your arrow forward, okay? This is the last slide, and do you have any questions? Okay, so with this, we have finished our, our quick crash course in PowerPoint. With this uh, information, you should be able to create good presentations, but more than anything, you should look at yourself and make sure that you are appropriately dressed and you address your audience properly because that's the most important part of the presentation. That is you. Thank you.